Neck and shoulder pain is incredibly common, and it can be caused by trauma, overuse, or abnormal postures. But if that pain is accompanied by numbness and tingling, one of the things that you may be experiencing is thoracic outlet syndrome. This video is to help you learn more about thoracic outlet syndrome and how you can overcome it. My name is Kayla Brooke. I'm a physical therapist in Birmingham, Alabama. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about what thoracic outlet syndrome is, how it can affect your function, and what your treatment options are. Thoracic outlet syndrome is a condition in which the nerves or the blood vessels that run through the thoracic outlet, which is the space between your collarbone and your first rib, become compressed or irritated. Some of the symptoms that you may experience with thoracic outlet syndrome is pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness in the arms, shoulders, or neck. Thoracic outlet syndrome can also cause swelling or discoloration in your arms and hands. There are several different types of thoracic outlet syndrome. The first being neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome. This happens when the nerves that run from the neck to the arm become compressed. The second is vascular thoracic outlet syndrome. This happens when the blood vessels that run through the thoracic outlet become compressed. The final type is mixed, and this happens when both the nerves and the blood vessels become compressed. The exact cause of thoracic outlet syndrome is sometimes unclear. A lot of factors that can contribute are physical trauma, overuse of the neck and shoulders, abnormal posture, or physical abnormalities such as a cervical rib or an extra first rib. Any of these factors can contribute to compression of the nerves and blood vessels that run through the thoracic outlet, which can cause thoracic outlet syndrome. The effects of thoracic outlet syndrome on your movement can be pretty significant. Thoracic outlet syndrome can cause difficulty with raising your arms, reaching overhead, or doing any daily tasks that requires you to hold your arms outstretched for any extended period of time. Thoracic outlet syndrome can also cause fatigue and weakness in the affected arm. This can cause difficulty with day-to-day -day activities such as carrying a bag of groceries, typing on a computer, or fixing your hair. The treatment of thoracic outlet syndrome depends a lot on the condition's underlying cause and the severity of your symptoms. In mild cases, conservative treatment such as physical therapy, medications, and activity modifications can help alleviate your pain. The primary goal of physical therapy is to reduce pain and inflammation, restore function, and to prevent future episodes. Some of the treatment options may include manual therapy techniques, such as soft tissue mobilization, dry needling, joint modes, nerve gliding, and stretching that can help alleviate your symptoms. One of the focus is gonna be on nerve gliding techniques. This involves gently stretching and mobilizing the nerves that pass through the thoracic outlet. The goal of these exercises is to improve nerve mobility and decrease compression in order to decrease your symptoms of pain, numbness, and tingling. Another focus of physical therapy will be strengthening exercises. These are meant to improve function and restore mobility. Your physical therapist will also educate you on posture corrections and ergonomic modifications. This can help prevent future episodes of thoracic outlet syndrome. In more severe cases where conservative treatment does not improve your symptoms, surgical intervention may be required. Some of the surgical techniques will depend on the underlying cause and severity of your symptoms. Patients should discuss these techniques with your provider. Proper physical therapy techniques can rectify a lot of thoracic outlet syndrome cases, if that is the road that your doctor thinks is best for your symptoms. If you would like to learn more about physical therapy, click the link in our description below to watch the video of what is physical therapy. This video will describe the different treatment methods utilized by physical therapists. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.